Good morning, South Africa. My name's Clem Pedro. You've heard the jingle. You know it's Wednesday. Uh -huh. So you know it's time for the Culinary Hotline Bling! <laughs> ding, ding, ding! No, no. I don't know what's going on. That was a little too timid for me. So let's do it again. The Culinary Hotline Bling! <laughs> ding, ding, ding! <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you have a sweet tooth ready. Um, I definitely do. Today we're talking everything sweet, everything appropriate for Valentine's Day. So if you're looking for inspiration on what to make this Valentine's Day, we've got everything sorted for you. But I'm not alone. Joining me in the kitchen is Baker Extraordinaire, Lamise Abrams. Welcome Hello. to the kitchen. Hi. How thank are you? you? Good, and you? How was that intro, though? Good. Loud enough. Did <laughs> it like enough. get you going? Definitely. Oh, I'm so happy to have you in the kitchen today because I do like baking, but I definitely cook more than I bake. It's like an 80. 20 ratio, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay? So I've got you in the kitchen today to kind of coach me and the rest of our viewers through okay. the best of baking for this Valentine's Day. Okay. And if this is how we are starting, can yeah, I just it's say? it's gonna be sweet. Wow, it's be good. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. And on this day, the Grinch's heart grew, I don't know how many times, but that's a lot, that's a lot. So what are we making? Okay, so we're making a simple Napoleon um, pastry. Mm -hmm. It's basically puff pastry, cut it into a heart shape and fill it with a creme pat, which is like a French um, creamy custard. It sounds delicious. And South yeah. Africa, if you'd like to get involved, please send us any questions. Are you, are you open to taking questions about baking today? Of course. Today? Send us your voice notes to 063 408 And myself and Lamise will answer all your Valentine's baking questions. So. Where do we begin with this amazing recipe? Okay, so first off, we'll make our pastry heart, which is mm -hmm. just basically taking a pastry sheet and a, a, a puff pastry, put it on a sheet, cut it into a heart, put it in the oven for like 25 minutes till it's golden brown. Then it will puff up like this. That is, See? that's an amazing <laughs> Yeah, so puff. it's like got all these different lovely buttery layers. And then what we're going to do is, we're just going to cut a little bit of a heart. Can I ask you, do you have any tips for our viewers at home on how to get your puff pastry to puff up? Lots of butter. Okay, it's okay. All in the texture, but I mean, who makes their own pastry now? I was about to ask the next no, question, like, do no. you actually ever make puff pastry? <laughs> no, Woolworths pastry is top notch. It's, it, it, I mean, this is... Yes, yeah, all butter, comes all out, the goodness. All butter, all the goodness, ah. all the things that you need. And it just bakes beautifully. This is just 25 minutes. And we just cut a little bit of a heart shape out there just so that we can mm -hmm. place the pastry cream in there. And all we're going to do is... Tommy, do you it. glaze your puff pastry with oh, yes. egg wash or um, milk? A little bit of caster sugar before baking. Just caster sugar? Yeah, just And caster. I like, is that where this bit of colour comes from? Yes. I love that. So it like caramelises while it's in the oven. Perfect. Okay, yeah. so I like what you're doing there. Before we garnish, Let's show our viewers at home how we, how we actually make the pastry cream. did it. So okay. I think you've got set up right at the end, yeah. Yeah, under the baking paper. So we've got puff pastry and it's chilled. Apparently that is a tip. Keep okay. your puff pastry chilled. So let's work all the way down to the end. Let's take a walk, let's take a walk, let's take a walk. Okay. So nice and chilled puff pastry. There we go. And would you, if you don't have a heart shaped mold, would you actually freehand it and cut it out? Uh, listen, what I did with that was I used a pizza cutter because I actually didn't have one of these. I thought I did, but I didn't. So all you do is use a uh, pizza cutter, just cut it out. And the thing with pastry, it's forgiving because it's going to bake. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I like it doesn't that have idea, to be yeah. I mean, I can imagine and someone... And this is perfect for the kids to make, like for breakfast, yes. for the parents in the morning. I can have this for breakfast? Exactly. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. Okay, show me. Okay, so we'll just press it out like that. And then... And that's another reason see. that I think working puff pastry when it's nice and chilled makes a huge yeah, difference. Yeah. If that it's was easier. like properly, properly chilled, it would have like come out easily. But because of these yeah. studio lights, I don't think our viewers at home know exactly how hot it is. It's anyway. apparently, it's close to 50 degrees Celsius. Oh my goodness. In the kitchen. Okay. Well, we'll put it on our baking tray and pop it in the oven. Okay, perfect. And you said a little sprinkle of caster sugar. Sprinkle a little caster And that's going to give us that puff. a nice caramelized golden perfect. color. Let's talk creme pat or creme okay. patisserie. Creme patisserie, creme patisserie. Yes. patisserie. Yes. I have to ask Zoe Brown. She's actually French. She knows all the um, French terminology. So, which okay. seems like something difficult to make. Creme pat, I know as a student, we had like a lot of the students in the class flop yeah. that first day. But oh. we're gonna get it right today, right? No, it's the easiest thing ever. Show us. Okay, so basically we just mix our egg yolks. So you mix all of this together. So that's egg yolks, caster sugar, then it's like flour, 
Yeah. And corn flour. Yolks, corn flour, flour, and a little bit of caster sugar for a little bit of sweetness. I like it. Yeah, and then because you I mean, just the has to be. mix it together to form a paste. And then we're going to place our milk. And heat that up. Can I add some of the... Do you add your vanilla to the last. egg mixture? add the vanilla last. Right, because you want to yeah. get that fresh of the vanilla. You don't want to yeah. cook it out. Love exactly. that. So that's like a... You're, gonna, you're not going to cook that really hot. That's like on a medium heat with that's eggs correct. in there. That's correct. And then you just add... A, first, you add a, like a third of the milk to mm -hmm. your slurry, to your mixture. And that will, for, and that will become a nice... Um, it will become nice and thick. And then you basically mix that together and then you add that to your hot milk. So you're going to do a bit of a tempering, That's back correct. into the Temper pot, it, get it and nice then and thick. Back into the pot, and then you keep stirring, keep whisking until it becomes thick. And then that's you're good it. to go. And then let's let it rest a little bit and then that's you it. You can hit it with the berries. And I'm going to step over here. So, South Africa, don't forget to let us know if you have any questions, number one. And now that I'm thinking about it, also, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Are you planning on cooking something different? Send us your messages to 063 408 Just save that number to your phone under, like, emergency call number one. Okay, now maybe don't do that. But save it on your phone and make sure you send us those voice notes. I want to know, number one, do you have any questions? And number two, what are you cooking or baking for Valentine's Day this year? That means are you baking anything special for Valentine's Day? Um, no, not really. This is it. Mm. This is it. I think this is it. This yeah, is the magic. I think my husband and my kids are going to get something like this as well. Oh, I like that. And I mean, we'll be baking cookies. I'll be showing you the cookies later. I'll be baking that for them as Should well. Should we tell our viewers what else we're going to make? So we're baking yeah. cookies and what baking else? Baking cookies and we made a fabulous cake, which is super easy. They can make it at home. Yeah. If, and you, if today was the day... Edible flowers. Oh, edible flowers. Yeah, they Please. always just make it Woolies have an amazing selection yeah. of edible flowers and I think that makes, makes a good so dish pretty. a great one. I mean, I still can't believe that these are edible. I mean, actually, I'm holding them in my hand. These are so beautiful. Yeah, and you, you can, can eat them. them. All right, Lamise, thank you so much. It's We're going to come back and get started on those cookies in a bit. Okay. But first, I'm going to hand over to these charming young gentlemen over here. It's my feel good birthday show. Welcome back, South Africa, to the second installment of the Culinary Hotline Bling! Ding, ding, ding! I like the little background chirp that we had in the back. Appreciate it. So, in the first segment, you saw us make a, which is a technical vol au vent with um, creme pat and fresh berries. That was absolutely delicious. I think it got devoured. I am so sorry. I know. You it's know? Gone. But we're going to be making a beautiful cake that is ombre got beautiful yes. fr buttercream frosting, right? Yeah. Which is my favorite. It looks absolutely amazing. I feel like Thank sometimes you. cakes are so beautiful, I don't want to slice. Don't eat it, yeah. I don't want to slice into it, but, but we that's will. That's the best part, eating it. But we will. We've got some voice notes, and I'm very excited to hear what people are. Uh -oh. oh, no, oh, no, they're coming in, they're coming in. And if you want to add to that list of voice notes coming in, our number is 063-408-8863. Ask us any questions about Valentine's baking, Plus, we want to know, are you baking anything exciting this Valentine's Day? Or cooking? Let us know. <laughs> right. So, this cake is amazing. Where do we begin? Okay. First, we begin with making the sponges, right? Mm -hmm. So, what we're doing is an ombre sponge. So, we'll have, like, um, different colors coming through in the cake. And we're going shades of red and pink and white. Yes. And I like that. We're using yes. a beautiful lazy McCourty. <laughs> I like that. I yeah. like that. Keeping with the red theme. Okay, so... So, we basically have four eggs, mm -hmm. right? Um... We're going to add our sugar to that. One cup of caster sugar. Mix that up. Tell the truth at home. How yeah. often do you make batters by hand with a whisk? Never. Never, right? No, you use a hand mixer. But I, it's okay. I just feel for today. like 2023 is the year at home for you to upgrade viewers yeah. and get yourself a beautiful cake, cake stand mixer. Yep. But you know what? I'm going to give you a handy mixer. Oh, hand mixer. Yeah. I'm going to give you a tip. So if you are still going old school with the load shading friendly version, okay. this is what yeah. you do. Yeah. So when you start whisking, you hold it almost like a, what do they call this grip? This grip. This type of grip, okay? And then you start whisking like that. And when your hand does get tired, you turn from this to this, and you use a different muscle. You use the, the inside muscle. I'll ask Ryle, I'll phone him. What's this idea. muscle called okay. in this one? Because he, he knows he knows he knows the name of every single muscle in, in the body. True story. <laughs> Vanilla going in. Yeah, and we just added some some um, melted butter and mm -hmm. we'll add a half a cup of oil as well. This smells amazing, really, and that then, vanilla. Mm. Yeah, and then basically we add our 
dry ingredients, which is just cake, two cups of cake flour, two teaspoons of baking powder. And this is where we start mixing slowly. We don't want to overwork this, am I right? Yes. Okay, so I'll do that. In the meantime, little birdie told me that you've got quite a journey that you've had with the espresso team when you yes, started it's baking. Been years. Tell me about where it all started. Um, well, it basically started when my kids were, I had three kids, they were growing up. Um, you know, there's always birthday parties with kids and lots of baking. Mm -hmm. And moms would always love my cakes and from there they would order, they asked me if I would make some cakes and I said yes and the orders came in and from there I, um, I became a Sasco top baker. They approached wow. me. We, yeah, we've had a nice journey together where I came on Expresso, we did some shows, we did a Eid campaign mm -hmm. and then, yeah, I've just been asked to come back and do a few little things. We did your birthday cake two years ago, yeah, the Expresso birthday wow. cake. Wow! Yeah. So no stranger to the Expresso kitchen. No. I love that. So once it's mixed through, we just add our milk, give it some more moisture. So talking about where it all flavor. started, what are the plans for the future? Where are you taking your baking in this year? Oh gosh, um, I'm still undecided. I'm I'm still deciding if I need to open up a store or or just keep it. I the way mean, it is. how much yeah. do we need to debate, to debate about that? Open up a store. <laughs> let's talk about names. Let's put just, let's put it yeah, out in the then, universe. But then there's load shedding, you know. So it's like I don't know. I get you. I you get know, you. I have to weigh my pros and cons. But Cyril. Cyril, <laughs> you are stopping the country from delicious things. Yeah. Please, if you need one reason to end load shedding, so Lemise can open up a bakery. Yes, please, sir. Yes, please. Okay, we're going to deal with that. And he watches the show. He actually is a, he's a top fan on our Facebook page. Really? And he comments quite often on our YouTube channel oh. as well. Yeah, okay. it's true. We'll, 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 we'll message you. He's depriving the country from lovely cakes. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, cool. Giving this okay. a mix. Talk me through the color. Yes. How do we get that ombre effect? Okay, we are going to use... I think you can just talk me through that, just so I know oh. how to do it when I do okay. get home and make so this cake. So it's just um, a food coloring. It's a jowl. You just mm -hmm. add a little bit of gel to that, and then take we'll... Take some out? Yes, how do we take do? some out. And then add more gel, so every That's time we add right. more, it just gets darker, darker, darker. And darker, and darker yeah. Simple enough, I love that. So you, I, I bake them in a six inch pan, mm -hmm. um, but you can bake them in a seven inch pan, depends on you. A uh, six inch pan will give you about four little ones like this. And I like the size, I feel like that six inch pan gives you yeah. a pretty, uh, Smaller than normal, but I mean, and you're going for height as well. So yeah. I do like that. If it's you want a little bit of height. Quality over the quantity. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Okay. So next, we, we made a simple sugar syrup, which is mm -hmm. basically just um, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of hot water, and just bring that to a boil. Once the sugar melts, you are good to go. And so that sugar syrup, what happens with that? Oh, so we'll take a, a pastry brush and we'll just brush it onto our cakes. Oh, nice. What does that And do? the reason we do that is just to keep the moisture locked in. I, I've never done that. Yeah, can I know. Can I add other flavours to that as well? I mean, like a little you can, bit but it's of really it. not necessary because we will flavour... The, the, well, you, if you're going to do flavours, you usually put it into the sponge or you can put mm. it into your buttercream. I But I mean, it's that. up to you. And so then we just got, brush got this with some buttercream. With strawberry some... jam? Raspberry jam? Yes. And I like the fact we're using jam. I'm like old school like that. I like jam in my cakes. Mm. I think it just adds like a slight sharpness with that sweetness that it delivers. Exactly, it a little bit of tart. flavors of the cake. Yeah. I love it. So while you're busy stacking that and layering that, yes. can I just bring this beautiful cake forward? I mean, look how beautiful this looks. Again, like really pretty. I feel so bad slicing into it. Do you want <laughs> me to do that and you slice into it? Okay. Okay, and while we do that, I'm gonna call someone in the kitchen. It's his birthday. It's our floor director, Lucian oh, wow. J. Volmos yeah. Albertain. It's his birthday. Lucian, can you step into the kitchen, please? Yeah. And we're gonna, obviously... Yeah. Should we sing happy birthday? Yeah! Okay! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Lucian! Happy birthday to you! Hooray! Can I put you on the spot? Yes. Oh, he, he came with a mic. <laughs> How did that happen? Can we give it one more big, big hooray? Hip, hip! Hooray! hooray!
Happy birthday. I'm always ready. You are always... Where did that mic even come from? He has no pockets. <laughs> we, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to slice into the cake. Lucian, please have a bite of your cake. Lemise is going to do the honours. Now. Why not? Yes. Lemise said dessert for breakfast is... Yeah. It's, a, it's approved. It's approved. Oh, my goodness. It slices perfectly. Only on your birthday. Now I get the chance to do the espresso bite. The espresso... The small... Is there music for me? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask our DJ upstairs if we can maybe get some of that music ready. Lucian's gonna do oh. us, give us that, that espresso bite. If you're a fan, you know what we're talking about. Yeah. Lucian, I'm gonna point you to the camera. Camera four. I know which camera. You know, oh, my goodness. <laughs> and you know what to do, eh? Okay. That didn't go well. Okay, no, no, that was perfect. Thank you so much, Lemise. We're not done with you. Lucian, happy birthday. Thank Can you. Tell the people, was the cake amazing? Moist. <laughs> I love it. We're not done. See you for part three. Okay. It's my feel good Oh, oh, okay, okay, we're back in the kitchen for the last installment of the culinary hotline bling. Ding, ding, ding! ding. It's about to have a little chocolate snack there, but <laughs> if you're looking for a chocolate snack, Lemise has exactly mm. what you need. Lemise, we're making these amazing little chocolate biscuits. Yes. And they are extremely cute because I see that they've got little heart shapes on them yeah. made out of chocolate again, chocolate and chocolate. Yeah. Always a win. Don't forget, if you want to send your voice notes through to us, we want to know, do you have any questions for the amazing Lemise today? Or we want to know what you're making for Valentine's Day. Our number is 063-408-8863. Amaze, I'm really excited. I've okay. never made a chocolate biscuit that I don't like. Yeah, no, it's very hard. I mean, and what is Valentine's Day without chocolates? I know, I know, yeah, absolutely. You have to have a little bit of chocolate. Yes, otherwise. so let's do a swap. Are you going to come? You? Okay. Tell you what. Tell me first about chocolate ganache, because we always get this question. So you come over to the okay. chocolate ganache. All right. I'm going to be right over here. What is a chocolate ganache, first of all? So the chocolate ganache is really just um, cream with chocolate that you can place over a saucepan, place into a saucepan and just melt. Just melt? Over a low heat, yeah. Just melt it. And it'll come together nicely like this. And we're just going to leave this here just to let it cool down. So let's do our cookie. Perfect. It's the most simple cookie ever. It's basically, you just throw everything together. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do it? Okay. I'll do that, I'll do that, okay. and then you can shape those over there. Okay. And we're swapping again. Okay. So we've got butter, and our butter's been softened a little yes. bit. Yes, so like room temperature butter room temperature. with some caster sugar. Caster sugar, not the brown, brown sugar. sugar caster sugar, caster sugar, yes. We've got a little bit of both because the brown makes it nice and chewy. I was it's about to ask that question. Texture. Yeah. So it gives a nice, a nice chew, and then your caster sugar obviously just gives that sweetness coming through. Exactly. Perfect. See, we've upgraded since our last segment. We now have <laughs> Ooh, machinery. We have a okay, so let's get this going. And yeah. this is technically we're creaming it. Yeah. And That's we great. We'll cream it just for like a few seconds. Add a little bit of coffee. Because coffee cocoa. and chocolate together, amazing. Amazing. It enhances the flavor, and so does vanilla. Perfect. And then we have, and we're going to add an egg as well, but we're a little bit short on eggs. Okay. And then we're going to add some azina as well. And basically, nice. that's it. And you just mix it that's together. It. Yep. And, and you'll get this lovely dough. And it's brings it together. Yep. Wow. Okay. I mean, that was really, really simple, quick and easy. Very simple. And then you'll just take like a half a teaspoon, mm -hmm. half a tablespoon of mixture. That forms a nice dough. Can I freeze this cookie dough? Yes, of as course. As it is like that? Yeah. And then maybe like, I'm thinking rolling it up in like a little sausage and just slicing it as I need it? That's a brilliant yeah, idea. Yeah, we actually have Zoe Brown and she eats all our <laughs> raw cookie dough, oh our word. raw cake batter. So I feel like this is a very Zoe Brown recipe. Mm. And we, we haven't add, added egg to it, which I think is amazing, because then you can just eat it. Eat yeah, it then you can. Okay, here she comes, here she comes. <laughs> So basically, we're going to roll this into the caster sugar. Thank mm -hmm. you. This Put it is... on our parchment. Oh, Am I allowed I... to taste the batter? Yes, yes go for it. Yes, please. Okay. I mean, it sounds like a, like a very easy take on a chocolate mousse that Ooh. hasn't been aerated or fluffed up. It's and... so fluffy. I like that. I love butter. that too. Ooh, lots of butter. Mm. So a, a, a better batter rating out of 10. That's a, oh, you a know solid... What? 
You know why? Because we forgot that. Okay, no. We didn't have the flour, but I mean, great. Dad on the own, guys at home, if you want to make this recipe, tweak it a bit okay, but next time. <laughs> for a batch of recipe. <laughs> But okay. you, you were going to give it a nine. Flower. I was going to give it a nine, um, but I think I know now why. It's not <laughs> right, a ten out of ten. Right. I also like how on the show, like we just make up recipes as yeah. we go along. There we go. There we go. There we, go. we just created a mousse. Look, look out for this. It's going to come in, <laughs> in Willie's store soon with Zoe Brown's face on it. Oh. It's coming soon. I'm here. I'm here for the packages. There we go. Thank you. Packages. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> okay, so you're shaping those, and I like it yeah. to roll them in the sugar because that gives a texture as well. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. And then will, okay. it, will it space out, puff up? What it will. It will a little bit, but that's why when we're done shaping them, we're going to pop them in the fridge for like 30 minutes mm -hmm. so that it can sit, and then we'll bake it for 10 minutes. But this is the, 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 the cool part that we're doing with the cookie. So we, I'm just gonna take my finger and just press it like that. So that gives it, the indent becomes an, a heart. Okay, I'm gonna try this because some of our fingers are a little bigger than <laughs> other people's. Let's see, let's okay. see, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna get some dough. Yeah. Get some Roll dough. it. Nice Roll and smooth. It but I mean, it kind of, as it bakes, it's kind of going to form a perfect circle, really. So do we have to be precious no, about that? No, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then a little cast of sugar. So come on, now you try and make a heart. Okay. Finger paint 101. I nailed it in that class. <laughs> Take your index finger, push down like that. Yeah. And like that. There hey, you go. look at wow. that. So that 10 minutes amazing. in the oven. 10 minutes That's in the it. oven, and when our ganache is cool, put it in a piping bag, and then just. Put it, place it into the heart. And I know that it's not cool, but can I just can I just pour it in there, there just to get an idea of what it will look like when it's okay. when it's shaped? Give it a mix first, mix, mix, mix. I mean, that's when it really highlights that heart shape. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, and we give it a little shaky shake. Wow. That okay, so okay. Cute. I'm impressed with the fact that this bakes in 10 minutes. Yeah. South Africa, if you want to get this recipe, go and check it out at expressoshow.com. This is a recipe you just... have to have to make. Make a triple batch of it. Be sure to do that. Lemise was absolutely amazing having in the it's kitchen a today. Pleasure. Thank you, Zoe Thank Brown, you for, for also me. joining us for tasting our batter. Looking forward <laughs> to next week. And don't forget, send all your voice notes. Let us know what you want to see happen on the Expresso Show's hotline at number 063 408 Thank you.